To create a new work order, click the New button under the Work Orders tab and choose the product that you need to build. The items list only shows items that are marked as I make it. Once you have chosen the product, the components grid is populated with the ingredients based on the bill of materials. The operations grid shows the sequence of operations, the work centers and the time required to build one unit of measure of the final product and is for information purposes only. Enter the quantity of the product that you need to build and save the work order. Once the work order is saved, a pick list is generated. It shows the total quantity of the materials needed to be picked and can be printed or saved in the Excel, Word, or PDF format. The route sheet shows the sequence of the operations to be performed, the work centers involved, and the total time it takes to complete the work order. To schedule the work order for production, click the Schedule button. The system matches the work order against available inventory and other constraints and suggests the earliest date when the work order can be started. To monitor the loading or idle times for the individual work center, select it from the list and click the Schedule button. Double-click on a date to see what work order is assigned to the work center on that date. 